Hello everyone, and welcome to CivilNet. We're here at the Martian test site in Armenia's Ararat region, where a team of six analog astronauts are about to emerge from a one-month simulation of experiments designed for a future visit to the Red Planet. Managed by the Austrian Space Forum, the mission said it chose Armenia for its geographic similarities to Mars and for its culture of scientific innovation. Let's go find out more. For the past month, this valley outside the town of Armash was transported to another world 140 million miles away for the research program Amadi 24. Human analog missions simulate aspects of extraterrestrial ones to places such as the Moon or Mars, serving as a test run for operational concepts and hardware. Armenia beat out Australia, Egypt, and Tunisia to secure hosting duties and managed to plan out and construct this Martian habitat in less than a year. According to Dr. Gernot Gromer, director of the Austrian Space Forum, Armenia possesses a special combination of factors which led to it being chosen. Armenia has a tremendous potential. It, it's not only uh, rocks and fish ponds and agriculture, there's also a culture of innovation there. There's this susceptibility to science, to research, to taking a next step and being very creative, being able to improvise when others would give up or so. So the level of resili the resilience and optimism is a, is, is a fantastic blend, which is just the right um, uh, primordial soup from where those magical missions then emerge from. The mission included 250 researchers and volunteers from 26 nations and has been an accelerator for the capacity building of Armenia's fledgling space industry. Its in-country aspects were organized by the only recently created Armenian Aerospace Agency, known as the Armenian NASA. In addition, the Armenian Space Forum was specifically founded to privately fund the endeavor and future space-related projects. According to biologist Anika Melis, the mission's crew commander, they undertook 15 geological and biological experiments, all carried out in spacesuit simulators as would be required on Mars. Um, I think that one of the best things about the whole thing is that you um, are able to do experiments outside of your normal field of expertise. So I really enjoy driving the rovers and um, doing psychological um, uh, evaluations and stuff like that. Um, and I really love that uh, you get to have a glimpse into all the other fields as well. Examples of the experiments include a robotic greenhouse which grows microgreens for the astronauts and the Armenian-led Genes for Mars project, which analyzed the effects of isolation on the astronauts' DNA. MAD-24 also provided the opportunity for independent experiments at the site, such as an innovative study on harvesting Martian wind energy with turbines. It was conducted by the Yerevan-based research lab Bazumk, which just months ago contributed to the launch of Armenia's first space satellite, Hayasat-1. Haig Margaryan, executive board member at the National Center Development Foundation, one of the mission's local partners, described its importance to Armenia as going far beyond science. For us, international programs are not presented in Armenia too much, and we want to bring as many as possible international programs to Armenia. First, to, sh to higher visibility of our country globally, and uh, second, uh, to increase security level in Armenia by presenting and by bringing international presence in Armenia. Of course, as an Armenian, I'm very proud, it, proud that uh, my county could be chosen as uh, for, for such a great project. And uh, today we all came to see it, uh, this like uh, for, for, from our eyes. <laughs> Project lead Gaiane Hakopian is a member of that new generation building the future of Armenia's space program. We have several companies already working on a satellite project, on small robotics project, etc. Uh, the infrastructure is there, uh, the policy should be uh, already um, configured by the government, so many more startups and spin-offs from this kind of research projects can uh, can really go to the market and join the global space uh, industry. Yeah? Young Armenians were selected to work both at the site as part of its ground operations support center and on the planning teams at Mission Support Headquarters in Vienna. This hands-on experience is developing them to pioneer future space projects on behalf of Armenia. It is planned that some will become Armenia's first analog astronauts and will take part in next year's world's biggest analog global mission.
We firmly believe the first human to walk on Mars is already born. So in the next 20 to 30 years, this grand journey will happen. And there's no reason to assume that there shouldn't be so many countries involved, including also Armenia. The Armash Martian test site will remain operational with the goal of it becoming the first space laboratory in the region. From there, the sky's the limit and beyond.